All right, welcome back. Now I'm going to show you some of my favorite fun physics battles here. We need, this is, I definitely like these, like sure, these simulation ones don't have very neat graphics, but this game is not about the graphics. Um, we're going to do my favorite goofy units. This is not a, this is a unit in the game. It's definitely not accurate. It's not very accurate. It's a wheelbarrow, right? So we're going to do a wheelbarrow race, and I'm going to do it in slow motion. Whoop. Why? So that you can see what we've got in the wheelbarrow. There's a farmer with a pitchfork. There is a farmer throwing apples. And then there's this supernaturally huge, very big guy, you know, pushing the wheelbarrow. And look at him run. <laughs> bird, bird, bird. And you get that awesome sound. Okay. <clears throat> this, it's in slow motion right now. But we're going to have to stop. Because this battle is going to gonna take forever now. They're locked in in, in equal wheelbarrowness. This is so dumb. <laughs> they just stay there. <laughs> and yeah, they'll stay there. They won't move. So we'll go back. Here is how you change that problem. You start them at different starting locations. Now they're gonna go, 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 and here it comes. There we go, they can knock each other free. Oh, oh. Oh, oh! Oh, oh! Okay, so blue team's gonna win, because eventually this guy will hit him with an apple. It'll take a while, and apples do not deal a lot of damage, but as you can see, he's hitting him, and eventually, he's going to hit him and either knock him off the edge or kill him. So we don't need to see the conclusion. This is, this is definitely a blue team victory. I can tell you by the AI. One more apple. Nope. Okay. We're going back. But say we put in a bunch of regular farmers... Watch this. This is where, again, the physics come into play. <laughs> there we go. But it's random enough where if you do the same thing over and over, you're going to get different results. The strength of the wheelbarrow is not it having high hit points or high damage. It's that it knocks people over. So anyways, that's that's the wheelbarrow race. I could, you know, we could do wheelbarrow races down the hill all day. <laughs> and then you can slow motion it. There is a super slow motion too, but it's so slow that it's almost like freeze framing. Yeah, see, this is the super slow motion. It's not really worth it. Oh, that guy didn't go off the edge. I thought he did. <laughs> there we go. Sometimes the freeze frame and the like final hits are really good. Um, this one is not so great, but that's what we got so far. That's the wheelbarrow race. I will, in the future, show you some more accurate stuff once I've tweaked some of the units um, so that we don't have too much totally goofy magic stuff. Or we can do battles in the future that are totally goofy magic stuff. Um, I haven't used a lot of these units, so I don't know what sort of things a Doombringer or a Void Monarch do. But um, I do kind of know what a Pumpkin Catapult does. The Swordcaster is actually really fun. Uh, I don't know how powerful it is, but... Um, you know, there's things like that. There we go. Monkey King. Whoops. Push 
the wrong button. So yeah, these magical effects, like, I don't know how... The sword casters are really cool, though, like, I'm go. Yeah, I don't know how... what the use is of this... Void King or whatever. It looks like the Monkey King just, just trumped him. But... I'm still playing around and learning the units, and we'll uh, get more into that later. Do, 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 do. What, what do I want to push? 